After the teaser trailer, creative director Ashraf Ismail and producer Julianne did a ton of extra interviews that revealed even more Valhalla info. Like we now learned how the raiding with our viking crew or jumps vikings will work and it's different than I first expected. We also learned about a new location we can visit, playstyles, story arcs and way way more. So as always a like on the video would be super appreciated and let's go. If you haven't participated in my May giveaway for a 2020 game of your choice then totally do it. Find the link in the pinned comment. You have to be a subscriber as well before you enter and good luck. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla we have this small army of viking mercenaries with us that we can take on raids in England. And I already told you in a previous video that we can have 8 of these characters in total on our ship. And well now thanks to a French interview on Jerk's video we learned even more about this system. So these characters seem to come from multiple places. We can personalize a fighter ourselves and then share it online and also grab these soldiers that other players created and then use them in our raiding party. And when you do so, the original creator also gets some rewards. There will also be Viking Raiders that are just raiders so want to help you out. And there will also be characters who can join you for narrative reasons. So they likely join your settlement after a main story mission and then go out and raid with you as well. But the idea is that you have the feeling that you are with your gang of vikings and as you go along there are faces that you end up recognizing, people who are also named and we also wanted to offer some options to players. And this is what Jillian said in that jokes video interview thanks to Google Translate. So maybe we can recruit historical figures from this era. Ragnar Lovrock was already dead by 873 the start of this game but maybe his sons can join our cast. Like that would be awesome. But overall I think that Julianne is talking about characters with like a background that we meet during a certain quest and then end up living in our settlement and then want to join our raiding party as well. And we already saw something similar in Odyssey. You likely remember Remember Odisa, right? Who you can free in Cephalonia and then later meet in Mega Reese and can actually romance too if you make the right choices and then she will also join your ship. And there are actually many examples of characters that can join via missions in Odyssey but yeah if you did not do that mission or made different choices then you did not unlock these characters as a lieutenant. And it seems like Valhalla will have a similar system and maybe the cinematic trailer actually already showcases that. Aviscan reached out via the input at Jurapta.com email address that you can of course use as well if you got some interesting finds saying that of course Eivor spares a mother and her kids in the trailer and then actually a little later it looks like those same kids the daughter and the son now live in Eivor settlement like they play with Eivor and the other raider. So maybe this hints at you being able to recruit people from the place you've just raided and then maybe you can put them in your barrack in the settlement and then train them and then maybe you can take them on raids with you in the future. Because in this viking game these characters are way more than a nice stat bonus for your ship or someone who you can summon for a few seconds via a specific ability. Now these characters will not only live in our settlement, we can also put them on our ship and then search for a new location to raid and they will then help us out. And actually our ship, the Drakkar, is more important than it first seemed because your raiding party is linked to that. These 8 characters can namely not get too far from your ship. Meaning that with this small army you can only raid camps or forts that are close to the shores. And now that screenshot of the longship that we actually got two versions of makes even more sense. Eivor and her crew approach this location that they can raid because it's close to the water. And this sounds great and I was first kind of scared that we would only have big battles and no real solo fights because we always have these vikings by our side. But no, it turns out that this will not be the case and this also creates a way better idea of how the world is designed with likely more heavily guarded forts and camps alongside the rivers so you need your crew to raid them and then locations we find in the other parts of the map can be completed alone because we cannot reach that with our ship. So yes most of the exploration on land will be done alone and by water with our crew and by the way as I told you before in a previous video our crew members can go down but they do not have permadeath 
and can be revived as well. I also would not be surprised if our Jumps Vikings can join for the big assaults that are narrative focused. So they just happen at certain points in the story and likely after a big story arc. Because that is how the game is set up. Your motivation is mostly to advance your settlement and you do that for example by searching resources. So we enter a quest arc and then we do a series of adventures and then we return to the village, so likely the settlement. So that changes the way the player will experience the adventure. We can imagine that each quest arc is like an episode of TV series for example. And again it's kind of rough but that is because of Google Translate and overall this really reminds me of Red Dead Redemption 2 where also your adventure would mostly start at your camp and then you would either leave with a certain character or on your own and then always return at the end of the mission as well. The big difference is that your camp in Valhalla will not move. Like we have one location in England for our settlement that we return to every time. I'm curious though if this means that from moment one you can already try and explore a large part of the world or that maybe just like in Red Dead it opens up over time. We by the way now also learned that just like Stonehenge, Hadrian's Wall will also be in the game. It was already built prior to this game but still it should be interesting to explore and it's more in the upper part of the map as we see right here. Going back to our ship, because just like in Odyssey we can summon this, although in Valhalla it should be at any time, so maybe we do not have to go to a specific dock, although I would imagine that we have to be close to the river, of course, to summon it. Just like mounts, that also seems to work the same as in Odyssey and Origins, and what actually returns from Odyssey are the three playstyles, although it's not clear if it will be Warrior, Assassin or Hunter this time. I can see Warrior and Assassin work, and maybe actually Hunter too, like we saw Eivor use the bow already quickly in the teaser trailer, but also throw his axe around in the cinematic. And in the teaser trailer, we also see the sort of chain throw going on. And maybe we can even throw spears, we at least saw a viking do it in the cinematic. While the extra is of course already confirmed. The Hunter playstyle was the least exciting in Odyssey in my opinion because you were too dependent on your adrenaline for almost all your cool moves. So curious if they go for the same playstyles or change it up. But overall the producer notes that we should have way more customization than in Odyssey. We reviewed the entire skill tree to precisely offer even more personalization. So we completely exploded the number of possibilities compared to that to leave the player customize the type of game he wants to have. The type of profile he wants to do. We already learned before this that there should be 400 points to spend on this skill system. So I think there will be a ton of build possibilities like way more than in Odyssey and the goal seems to be to really let you create your own character that you want so likely combine the different playstyles as well. Do you want an assassin hunter or something then that is what you can make. Where in Odyssey this was also kind of possible but it was just not really good so like focusing on warrior, hunter or assassin damage was smarter. And overall the big question still is how do we earn one of those 400 skill points. It's still kind of unclear we do have this new interview though with Kotaku that you can find in the video description. Ashraf said here that we have a new take on progression in this game. We have more the concept of power, power that is gained through, let's say, the player gaining skills. So it's still a little vague, but I think this means that, for example, by using a bow a lot, you complete maybe challenges, like killing enemies with a headshot, and that will earn you skill points. So that by doing your favorite playstyle, you earn skill points to enhance that playstyle even more. That would be my bet, but... Again, that's just a theory. And of course, apart from the different skills, we also have the new dual wield system that let us dual wield any weapon in the game and that should also make builds even more interesting. And I'm curious how this will play because in that same Kotaku article, Ashraf confirmed that the controls aren't changing that much from Origins and Odyssey. So right now we have of course R1, like the right shoulder button for your regular attacks and then R2 for the heavy attacks. So maybe by pressing R1 we control our right weapon and then L1 our left weapon, kinda how in Origins your L1 washer shield or will we just with one button control both weapons 
questions questions of course your theories are more than welcome in the comments down below and when we get answers i will tell you them here on the channel so totally subscribe if you are new to miss nothing regarding Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I got way more awesome content coming your way, trust me, so keep it locked. Like this video, of course, to support the channel. And totally check out my recent video on leaks regarding the Assassin's Creed Valhalla release date. And also, what is going on with Ubisoft? Like, a look at the future, because they shared more info. For now, I will speak to you next time. Have a good one, and goodbye.